Sometimes in these celebrations that you go to, like weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, holidays, you feel like you can't keep your, your same health plan. Celebrating well. It's Hunt for Wellness, episode number 50. Welcome to Hunt for Wellness. I am John Hunt. And I'm Christy Hunt. And this is the show where we help you live your best life, mind, body, and spirit. And this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machines that provide great water for great wellness. Check it out at waterdistillers.com. Celebrate well. Yes. We want to be well when we celebrate. We want to celebrate well. Right, and we want to stay well. And we want to stay well. And we're celebrating 50 shows. Yes. Wow. Isn't that exciting? Over a year. It's been kind of crazy. Yeah, we took a couple uh, weeks off. Yeah, here and there. But we got, we uh, were technically in season two, um, because we start the season at the beginning of the year, but we started last spring sometime. I can't even remember the date, but 50 shows, that's a big deal. It is a big deal. Let's celebrate. Which oil should we use? Um, Inspiration. Yeah, that's a really Ooh, good one. You, you, you. <laughs> okay, so celebrate. Come on. Ooh, that'd be good too. Put some on the wrists. Ooh. Rub the wrists together. Ooh, I am and then smell. really inspired now to mm, celebrate. Such a light, it beautiful is. smell. Very good smell. Very good smell. Mm-hmm. So anyway, um, so we're going to talk about celebrations. And having your own back too, right? Yeah, because sometimes in these celebrations that you go to, like weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, holidays, you feel like you can't keep your your same health plan, like your right. your eating plan or. That's like when I had that glutinous cookie at a wedding we went to this fall, but it looked so good. Yeah, was it worth it? No, actually, it wasn't because I I kind of had a stomachache afterwards. Yeah. It's like I hardly ever cheat on the gluten-free. Yeah. But I, it looked really good. And I'd heard about, I'm not going to name the name brand, but you've heard of <laughs> these huge cookies that kind of taste like cake. But mm-hmm. it didn't do well for me. But anyway, mm-hmm. that's, a, that's, a, that's kind of what happens. We get into a celebratory mode and we sometimes put our guards down, right? Yeah. And just throw out our plans and think we don't, we can't keep our plans. Yeah. But there's a way to celebrate and keep your plans too, yes, right? Yes, yes. Right. Yes. So whether it's like training for a marathon or on a special diet, like we're gluten free, um, or just wanting to keep your regular routine of eating or exercising, yep. if you're going to a long thing, like maybe a cabin weekend. Right, yeah. Or a week away, or a well, we're going to be away conference. two weeks this fall, and I'm still wondering how I'm going to. Oh, that's right. Because I'm training for the marathon, yeah, which is like three weeks after we get back. So yes. I'm still trying to figure out how that we're going to be active on this trip. But yeah, um, that'll be cool though because yeah. the evenings are free, so huh. you could run in the evenings. I could. I just don't know if I want to. And uh, um. <laughs> anyway, we'll get we'll discuss yeah. that in another well, show. And so <laughs> that's that's important to think about your plan. Right. Think about what is your plan. When are you occupied? When is the free time? When yeah. can I work this out? How can I do it? Maybe I'm not going to run 15 miles on that right. trip one evening, but you know maybe I can keep doing some other things. Yeah, I remember uh, back a few years ago when I was on a super strict diet. Mm-hmm. Um, one of those uh, ones where you know you you have to literally plan everything. And I remember going to a wedding and thinking, oh. We're going to get there, and I may not be able to eat the food, first of all, and I don't want to be starving, and then all of a sudden, you know, go crazy. So I remember eating this huge bag of carrots uh-huh. on the way there, and that was good. You know, that helped to actually, you know, curb the appetite and, yes. you know, plan for 
a situation you're going to be in. Because that's even like sometimes when you go out for dinner, you know, you know this restaurant has, you know, the ultra super duper special. But if you can. That's off the diet. That's off the diet. But, (laughs) you know, if you can plan or even like before you go to the restaurant, maybe miss lunch so that you can have a little more dinner. Anyway, yeah. This is not a diet show, by the no, way. No, and we're not talking really yeah. about um, dieting. We're talking about what is your eating plan, the plan. way the yeah. way that you eat. Right. Like we eat gluten free, right? So um, that we eat gluten free all the time. We don't yeah. eat gluten free half the time, and half the time yeah. we're eating gluten. So, um, what is your plan, yeah. like? the way you want to eat or the way you want to, maybe you're on a plan of like studying and reading like a mental plan. Like you have to read a certain amount or study a certain amount. And now you're going to go on a weekend and a lot of your time's taken up. How are you going to fit that in to to stay on the plan? Are you going to read ahead? Mm -hmm. You know, or it's best to do things ahead of time rather than after. I will say that. Um, are you on, are you doing the neuro cycle? Do you need to keep doing that every day? Right. And when are you going to do that? Um, are you on maybe a spiritual plan of prayer or in scripture reading and you want to get that in and have time for that right. or time to meditate? Um, just time to be alone because you know that that's really important for your overall wellness. Yeah. Yeah. And really, yeah, there's, we talk about mind, body, and spirit. Right. So there's plans for each. Yeah. So what is your plan? And I would encourage you to think about it and write it down. Yeah. Even if you're not going on anything soon or have an event coming up, a graduation or mm-hmm. something like that, it's good to have a plan for mind, body, and spirit wellness. You know, yeah. just ideas of the way that you want to do things right. and share them with others. Yeah. Uh, back, I think it's episode number four, we talked about um, how to put together a, a wellness plan. Yes. And so you might, we'll, we'll link that in the show notes, but that was a great episode where it was like taking steps and take a simple steps to yes. get to where you want to be. Yes. It and doesn't have to be super complicated. A great oil for that is Envision. Ooh. Smell that. It smells so good. Mm, it's kind I of an love a, it. For light. those listening versus watching <laughs> on our YouTube channel or over at Hunt for Wellness, it's... Uh, it's kind of a light purple bottle. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty. It it's tastes... Taste. taste. No, I didn't taste it, but it smells good. It does Almost smell good. These good. are ones you don't drink. Yeah. No. <laughs> but that helps you release the fear of moving forward and... Um, Mm. Might help you shift to awaken your dreams and goals and open up your creativity. Yeah. And so this is a great one to put on your wrists or diffuse when you're thinking and making your plans. Yeah. Ooh, so there's even oil for helping you make your plans. Yes. That was great. Yes. So um, how can we stay healthy? Now, usually events involve food. Yes. And if you are on a food plan, then you have to, um, the, here's some things that we've done because we are on a food plan yeah. of gluten-free, which is um, not always easy. So if you're going to someone's house, see if you can talk to them ahead of time, um, tell them what you need so that they know. Don't. It's more difficult to deal with this if you wait until you get there and say, yeah. oh, by the way, I'm gluten-free. Yeah. Or can I bring something? And, yes. And make sure you bring something that you know you can eat. If that's the only thing you can eat, you'll yeah. be fine with eating yeah. that. So that's usually what I do is bring something, offer to bring something and make it make sure it's substantial, that mm-hmm. that's what I can eat. Um, so, and you know what? You don't have to eat. Right. Even though other people are eating, you don't have to eat. You can drink. You can um, drink water. Drink water with essential oils, water with, or mineral water with essential oils, or lem- a slice of lemon or lime, or bring a um, Ningxia Zing mm-hmm. drink, which is like a little carbonated drink yeah. that has a little bit of caffeine in it. Really yummy. So think about it. Be creative yeah. to solve that problem. There's always a healthy option. Yeah. That you could, but you have to think about it in advance. You can't think about it on the spot. Right. 
it, it's a much harder to do that. So, um, and there's also just like other little treats that you can have. That you carry with yourself. Yeah, carry with you. Yep. Like like we said, the Ningxia Zing, yep. Nitro. Ningxia Even the Ningxia, Ningxia Nitro, Red is in the little Ningxia packets. Ningxia Red, yes, you can bring that with you. There's Sleek Tea, Sleek Bars, mm -hmm. Wolfberry Crisp Bars, with or without the chocolate coating. Um, there's Einkorn Granola. You can make little treats for yourself. Yeah, like, like treat bag. N nuts, dates. Mm -hmm. Nut and date balls, you know, with chocolate or spices or there's lots of ideas online. Mm -hmm. Chocolate covered Katie has great healthy dessert ideas. Yes. So lots of things available. What about if you don't want food treats, but you want to have mm -hmm. a different kind of treat? Yeah, because we like treats. That's another way to celebrate. Sometimes we it is. celebrate a victory with a treat. Right. We're so food oriented. Yeah, it doesn't have to be food. What other little things are rewards? Like a massage, mm. like going on a walk with a friend or a hike, mm -hmm. a little adventure, a bike ride, bowling, ice mm -hmm. skating or roller skating. Yeah, all those are good. And they're healthy too. Yeah. And what do you love? Like, I love reading. Mm -hmm. What do you love? I love golfing. Yeah. And I like drinking coffee at the coffee shop. That's <laughs> yes. a treat. Yes, it is. Maybe even get one of the foofy ones with a little chocolate and whipped cream on it. Yeah. Or like go to the Arboretum. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful there. Or beautiful parks. Or go to a museum. Yeah. You know, be creative and think about things that would satisfy you. Yeah. You know? Um, and then just... I think we talked about this already, just planning ahead. Let's just um, do, listen, listen, smell this common sense essential oil. Isn't that mm. great? Ooh, that it's kind of very a well. yes. pinkish reddish bottle. Yeah, common sense. Yep, it's got mm. frankincense, ylang ylang, okatia, goldenrod, rue, dorado azul, and lime that is great to diffuse or put it on your wrists or neck when you're making decisions. Ooh, and make good decisions. Yeah. Use your common sense. Exactly. So you're planning ahead, figuring out how you're going to celebrate well. Right. By the way, all of these oils will have over at huntforwellness.com on the episode page for episode number Celebrate 50. And... Um, you know, we set the links up so it'll take you right uh, to the Young Living website. You can buy them. There's no minimums or whatever that you just buy whatever you want. There mm -hmm. is in that link um, automatically our ID number because we're Young yeah. Living brand partners. So we would like to do business with you. Uh, and you can simply do that by checking out an oil or two. Um, if for some reason you go to the Young Living site, check out what our number is or get our number so that we can uh, get credit for that. Yeah. that's how that kind of works but uh we'd love to work with you and we'll link all these oils over at episode 50 at huntforwellness.com yes yes so i think another important thing is having a happy mindset mm -hmm. about meeting your goals while celebrating with yes. others and have your own back yeah meaning that i don't have to give up my goals and dreams just to celebrate yeah. somebody else's thing or Right. Maybe it's even you're celebrating your own yeah. wedding or mm -hmm. anniversary or graduation, birthday, things like that. We don't have to give it up. Not a lot of people think that healthy eating is tastes bad. Right. I know. I had a person tell me that um, eating gluten free was like eating dirt. Yeah. That's so weird. <laughs> you know, until that person came over and ate a bunch, because obviously we only eat gluten free. It's like, oh, this is so good. Yeah. I'm like, wait, doesn't it taste like dirt? <laughs> well, no. Well, that's like eating organic, too. I know the first time I um, uh, had organic radishes mm -hmm. compared to the radishes that I grew up with. Uh, kind of difference between night and day. Yeah. You know, a lot of those vegetables that were forced on us that either came out of a can or were not organic 
back when we were young, when organic wasn't as a big of a thing. Yeah. Um, boy, there's a big difference. Yeah, there is a huge difference. Yeah. I think that's I know. celebrating just <clears throat> eating really good food. It really is. Yeah. And a friend of mine was um, had this carrot, and um, she's like, this is the best carrot I've ever had. <laughs> she goes, I think it's coated in sugar. I'm like, no, no, it's not. It's yeah. just an organic carrot. Yeah. She could not believe how good it tasted. Yeah. Oh, carrots particularly are another yeah. thing. That it, the difference between organic and non-organic yeah. are night and day. Truly, truly. Here's there. another oil called Rise Above. Mm. And it's about rising above your circumstances and... <sighs> Help transform old thoughts that hold you back so that you can achieve your true purposes and goals. That would be a, the, speaking of the NeuroCycle, which we should, we'll make a link to the NeuroCycle program. Yeah. We've talked about that in other episodes, but that would be a good one for that, wouldn't it? It would be. Right before you do the NeuroCycle, you. Yeah. Put that rise above oil yeah, on. Yeah, I love it. I know. It's so good. So, um. So have your own back, and it might be difficult to keep your plan, but it's worth it. Mm -hmm. You will be so happy that you did, and just like you're gonna keep some type of plan yep. so that you can run the marathon That's right. after our trip this fall. Um, and here is grounding. Grounding is specifically Ooh, designed that is an awesome by one. Gary Young to deal with emotionally challenging journeys mm. and help you channel the emotional strength that you have to overcome the problems mm -hmm. um, that you're experiencing. Wow. So isn't that a great one? I love one? that one, yeah. That's grounding. So uh, there's, a, there's a few more oils. Valor, which gives you courage and mm -hmm. confidence, a positive aroma. I, I love that. We use that every single every day. Every day, yep. Magnify your purpose. It says it all in that mm -hmm. name. Clarity helps you focus and have a sense of stability. Mm -hmm. um, so I would just encourage you to get a couple of these oils at yeah, least. Try them out. And use them while you're planning. There's even a celebration oil. I yeah. didn't bring that one over here to <clears throat> smell during this time, but there's a celebration oil that you can diffuse when you're celebrating. Uh, sounds perfect. I know. Yeah, this is great too. This is these are fun ones to kind of like experiment with and try out. And, yeah. Um, so again, we'll have all of these oils linked over at episode number fifty, huntforwellness.com. dot com, and um, yeah, just a simple click and purchase, and we'd appreciate that. Anything else before we wrap it up? Celebrate well. Celebrate well. And be well. Yes. I think that's a great thing. I uh, should also remind you that this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com, a great machinery that produces the ultimate great distilled water, which is great for your wellness. Check it out over at waterdistillers.com. And when you come back next time, we'll celebrate episode 51 yes why not why not celebrate every episode yes that's good so we'll see you next time on hunt for wolves